that he did give us power. He gave us strength to overcome, Brother Jim, every obstacle that comes our way. Yeah. Brother Mike, I'm glad to know that he's a God of, of peace and comfort. He said he would be there in all the time to work troubles. He would go ahead of us, Brother, and he'll make a way of escape. But we've got to learn to depend on him, Brother Jim, and put him number one in our life in spite of what the enemy says. Brother Jim, greater is he that is in us and he is in this whole world. And Brother Jim, I found everything that the Lord said that he would be to me. He's been exactly there. Sometimes, Brother Jim, it seems like to the old best man that you're going to come up short. And Brother Buck, we're going to suffer the grief. But I tell you, I found strength in God and he's able to hold us up and reach down and keep us up kind of that old mighty bed. I'm glad to know that we're going to win inside today. We don't have to sit down, Brother Jim, and listen to the things that the devil brings our way. Because the devil's only doing what the devil's going to do, Brother Jim. He's going around seeking who he may destroy. And Brother Jim, we have to first surrender our life to the devil before he can do anything. God give us strength to stand in these trying times. That surely things is going to come our way. We ain't, Brother, we're not exempt from the devil. We're not exempt from things that's coming our way. We have got to learn to lead toward God and know, Brother, that he said that he was a strong tower that the righteous can run into. Brother Jim, there ain't a devil out of hell bringing up or a devil upon this earth bringing up to separate us from the love of God that's in Christ Jesus. But we'll first kind of make her mind up. Brother Jim, if my wife don't want to go, I know that she does. But we've got to get a mindset, Brother Jim, that I'm going to go all the way for Jesus. If I've got to run this race alone, in spite of what anybody else says, the devil's got people out there to sign us. But we've got to learn to Brother John, the devil has got people inside to us to try to deliberately destroy us. Yes, they may look good. They may look everything all nice and we all everything that we think that we need in our life, Brother Buck, but in all reality, the devil's planting a seed in some people's life and they ain't realizing they're falling in the traps and they not got to get got their spiritual eyes on. But Brother Buck, we can't walk with what we see. With these natural eyes, we have got to learn, Brother Jim, and get ourselves wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Jesus. Because everything else in this life, and surely it's going to fail and come up short and lead you astray. But Brother Buck, I found in God. He said he would be our brother. He would be our sister. He would be our mother, our father. Anything that we need, we can find it in him. Yes, it's good to have friends. Yes, it's good to have somebody that we can call upon. But Brother Jim, we have got to know that we know above all these earthly things down here that we've got things in good state with God. Because when the enemy's raging and your friends leave you standing all alone the place the heat of the battle, you better have things right with God because the devil, he has sent to we're living right now, Brother Buck. We're living in a sinful time. And the devil, he does not keep told Peter, the Lord told him, Peter, that the Lord done warned him that sent the time. And the devil was trying to sift you. But Brother Buck, I believe if we keep our eyes on Jesus, that we can make it all the way to this old troublesome land. Too many people sitting aside, Brother Jim, and I they find that they're getting adjusted to the things of this life. They find in the sea right away, and the Bible does tell us that there's a way, there's a way to see the right unto me and unto Brother Jim. But I'll tell you that the way's there in, it leads us to destruction. Unless you're anchored in Jesus and walk in this good old gospel way, we're going to come up short on that getting up day, Brother Jim. And I'm telling you, I've got a piss water that just had a heavy burden on my spirit for the sinner man. Brother, somebody better get a burden for the lost. Because if we don't get on fire for the Lord, Brother Jim, and get things right with Him, we're going to devil dive around and call some of our family to slip their hands and let the devil take them to hell. But I'm telling you, I made up my mind, Brother Buck, just like the apostle did, but me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord, Brother Buck. I don't care what comes my way. But the Lord doesn't say it, it's greater as He. That is in me that He did this old world. The Brother Buck that tells me, I can make it through this old world. Make it through the trials that come our way. We have got to get things right with Jesus. Stand in this contract. Like the lights, you come on down. 107 Hill Creek, be with us there at church on Thursdays at 7. Sundays at Sunday school at 1 o'clock.
Don't slack on your face and praise God. Amen. You may not feel like it. Amen. But as it can say that we need to crucify this old place. We need to mortify the needs of this old body. Amen. But I said sometimes they got this thing backwards and mortify the needs of the body. Amen. And then you know that crucifying, not crucifying the flesh, but they're mortifying the flesh with the needs of this old world. Praise God. We need to get that thing right while we're here. Thank you. 
open. Amen. But one day that door is going to be closed, Brother Michael. Right. It's going to be like it was in the days of old. Amen. The Bible said they were drinking, giving in marriage, partying, having big times. Honey, they was having them all they thought. Yes. But it come a time that Jesus yes. began to pour his wrath out upon this nation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that old man, they thought he was a fool, probably preached about 120 years. It's uh -huh. going to rain. Well, I'm going to tell you what it's been. Almost 2,000 years ago since Jesus come. Yes, Lord. And they've been a preaching that Jesus is coming again. Yes. I'm going to tell you today, He is coming. Yeah. Yeah. Closer now, yeah. Brother Buck, than it's ever been. Right. I got my heart right. I got my mind right. I got yeah. my soul right. Yes, and I'm on the right Amen. street. Yeah. I'm on straight street, and I'm going home in a little while. Yes. Because I walked through that door a long time ago. Yes. The Bible says Jesus is the door to the sheepfold. If you try to come up in there the way you are, a thief and a robber. Yep. There's going to be no thieves in heaven. There's going to be no robbers. going to be no liars. going to go through that gate. Right. All the fear and heart shall see God. Yep. I want to tell you today how many times you ever think of your life. It's time to go back to the Holy Ghost washing machine and get washed up and cleaned up and yep. checked up and ready to go. Because yep. Jesus is coming again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My troubles in our hands. What Jesus prophesied to you. Let us be wars and rivers of war, pests and earthquakes and diverse places. Family's going to turn again, brother, brother, again, sister. What? Hey, Amen. I talk the word of God said. Amen. And the Lord said, I love of many as wax cold. Because iniquity, yes. iniquity is sin. S I N. Right. You can't get in with sin. God, uh -huh. what a message. Yeah. You'll uh -huh. never make it through this door. We've got to clean our house up. We've got to get our mouth right. We've got to get our attitude right. We've got to get our dressing right. We've got to get our faithfulness right. We've got to get our walk right. We've got to get our mouth right now. One's going to be taken and one's going to be left. Yes, Jesus is coming for them. Hallelujah. Come on. Yeah. Brother Jim has yes. got the life right there watching and awaiting on the yes. coming of the Lord. Yes. You know what the church is about to say? Come, Lord Jesus. Yes. Come, Lord Jesus. Yes. There's a few more wandering out in sin. Need to get in and get everything out of your life. If you don't let God get a hold of your heart, your mind, your time, your attitude, your sight, your way of living, you ain't going where I'm going. Only the fear and heart shall see the Lord. Honey, we're going home with this Lord. He said, oh, I've heard this when I was a baby. So what I hear it too, brother. Uh, one thing about it, I can promise you by the word of God, and I'm closer right now than I've ever been. Midnight cry is soon to go back. You said, Brother Paul, you're trying to judge me. Jesus said, You're going to know by the fruit you're buying. Yeah. You ain't going to go up to know when this is a delicious apple tree. Get all the pears off of it. That's right. Some kind of crab apples. How many can say, Man? Yeah. I want my fruit to remain like you told Peter. That's right. Yes, sir. Some of my men don't say this. Peter, Satan did all the sent you, boy. He did the stars to destroy your life. But well, you know what Jesus said? You know the story. Peter said, I'm going to pray to you. Jesus told Peter, I'm going to pray to you. Did you know Jesus is praying for us? Yes, Jesus. He is the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. The Holy Ghost prays for our infirmities that we don't even know is a type of our bodies. How many can believe that? Yes, Lord. Oh, God have mercy. You have to feel cold. You drifted away from God. You let the love of God slip up your life. You didn't get in that altar. You need to run, honey, like you ain't never run. 
death is all around us. Hell is all around the church. Somebody said, oh, I'm going to too much confusion to go to church. These tail bearers, these confusions are going to hell if they don't get this junk out of the life. I don't care who it is. I've got to have a pure heart before God. Paul said in the Bible, some of the apostles, I'm going to help get all this in. These boys don't do it. It was about over yes. with. Yes, he said, You preach the word, son. Be instant. Have it over one instant. Is. Quick. Yes. Yes. In season. Out of season. Reprove. Exalt with all long suffering. He's told him one place that the time will come. Yes. You know, they're not innocent, don't they? Right. We are living. My brothers and sisters in that time. Yes. Oh, I do things my way. You're not the ones in the door. Come on. Jesus said, you keep my words and do my commandments. I can ask what I will, Brother Jim. Amen. And God's got to do it. There's many people, like it was in the days of Noah, I'm saying, preach about this a lot. No, they didn't get discouraged, Brother Bucky. About 120 years, I think it was. He preached. There's coming the blood. Well, guess what? Let's preach them since Jesus almost 2,000 years ago. We have preached and declared the whole counsel of God. Amen. That the end of all things is upon us. I can't make you do what's right. Come on. But I can show what I got preaching to you, tell me. You've got to come under subjection to the word of God and the word of correction. Correction is for our good, brother. Right. Correction is not to damn you to hell. Correction is to keep you out of hell. Come on. That's right. Obey them. That's got the authority over you. But Paul, you ain't gonna tell me what to do. Go to hell, I'll pray for you. Or you're going there. I gotta live right, honey, you gotta live right. I gotta walk right, you gotta walk right. I gotta talk right, you gotta talk right. Come on. I gotta become meek and humble before the Lord. You gotta become yes, meek and humble. That's right. That's a two-way street. It's one street for all of us. That's right. I ain't worried about your past. I'm worried about your future. Come on. Hey. You don't know matter what you've done behind you. Yeah. That's all done away with. Yes, sir. What are you doing now? What are we doing now? Bless you. Time's running out. What will you be? What will you be doing? The day the trumpet sounds and Jesus walks out of the sky. But the buck I want to be preaching the word of God. Hallelujah. Yes. I have my preference place. I like to be right in the graveyard and preaching the gospel. Amen. Yes. You say you're crazy, Brother Paul. I like to be right up on the middle of Green Hills when the trumpet sounds. Hallelujah. Preach the infallible word of God. Hear the trumpet of God sound. He walk out on that eastern clouds, eastern skies. And all of a sudden, the graves begin to rub on the saints of God. Somebody said, Brother Paul, Mama's over on Green Hills. Mama's not there. She's a Christian. That old house she lived in went back to the house. Mama used to go to the grave. I'm going to tell this right now to about our time. Lord, there, Brother Bucket, raining and drizzling. Sat down my daddy's grave. She said, said Paul, I thought about one time having your dad tucked up and rang you back up on the phone. I said, Mama, honey, daddy's not over Green Hills. Come on. Ha, ha, ha. That old house that daddy once lived in that gave him a battle of cancer. 
disappointments and hurts and let downs. That thing's gone back to the dust of the earth. Yes. He's walking in a glorified body just like Jesus. Somewhere around the throne. Amen. If I keep living right, yes. keep right on searching, Mother John. Yes. One day I'm going to meet him. Amen. <laughs> Judgment of God's wrath before us. It's all right. 